Hey y'all, it's Mel Bell. Um, I just wanted to check in and um, let you know about my hair growth. This is how long it is. It's got some product in it. Am I getting, there you go. That's how long it is. Um, and I am gonna go ahead and get new locks put in. Um, I'm getting new locks tomorrow morning and so I wanted to do a quick video to show you what it looks like um, and what the growth has been um, so here's what I decided um, I decided well first of all I was just really really missing having locks um, I, I regrettably cut off my locks and um, there, there wasn't really another option for me at the time and with the present locks if you've seen any of my other videos um, I had a lot of problems during the pandemic and encountered um, problems in my elbow, in my hand um, that prevented me from being able to retighten my own locks, um, which I don't think I can do ever again um, because it's just going to aggravate the nerve that got aggravated during the pandemic from me retightening my own locks. Um, but that being said, I want to clarify that there was already a problem brewing um, due to other actions, um, uh, repetitive motions I was doing with that with that hand. Um, and so it's not 100% that I had to retighten my own hair and it messed up a nerve in my arm, um, in my elbow. It, it was... Um, compounded by that and like every time I retighten my hair it took me three days like three maybe five hour days um so I think I spent a good I would say eight hour days but I think that I spent a good three hours of each day um just being upset <laughs> anyways so um so yeah, moving to now in the present, what I learned about my last set of locks is that um, they were too thin. And um, although they were beautiful and happy, there was a lot of areas where there was bunching. And because I didn't have a loctician to go to during the pandemic, in California, we were shut down. Well, in San Francisco, we were shut down for four months, I think. So for four months, my hair was not maintained by a professional. And so, that, that bunching became locked. So there were little clumps everywhere that were were actually locked. So that taught me that if my locks were bigger than the rest of my hair, my actual whole lock would lock. Um, so there just wasn't enough hair in each lock. For my grade of hair, my hair is too thin and too fine um, for that size of a lock. So I'm going micro locks, going to micro lock size, but um, I will make them bigger. Now my loctician, I discussed it. She wanted to put the locks in and then she wanted to palm roll it and put some product in it and then put me under the, um, the dryer. And we would have that, um, we would do that every four weeks. But the problem is I go home, I wash my hair, and then um, it washes out the stuff she put in it. I'm allergic to fragrance and I'm allergic to propylene glycol. So a lot of the options that women have to help their hair lock, I cannot use whatsoever. Sorry, I'm outside, um, as you can see, but sorry for the noise. Um, so that makes my options limited. But I remember for the first time getting my hair locked and how dry my scalp was. The Sister Lock shampoo really dried out my scalp horribly. Um, and I found ways around that problem. But I cannot imagine having locks in and having my scalp inflamed due to itching um, because of allergies. Um, I just... I already foresee that being a problem. And so I told her, no, I can't do that. Um, and so she agreed to just put in a new set of larger locks, um, which I hope are successful. Um, I really, really miss having locks. Um, I've missed them since I took them out. 
I didn't mind my hair being short. I don't feel ugly or anything having my hair short. Um, but I, I don't like having to wash and condition my hair every day. Um, and people are like, you don't have to do that. You don't have to wash your hair every day. But because I'm allergic to almost all hair products, there's a film that grow that lays on my scalp, my scalp. So like Miss Jessie's Mixed Curls, I think it's called, is a beautiful, wonderful curl cream. I love it. But if I don't wash it out, it starts making me itch the next day because there's that film on my scalp. Um, and there's so few things out there that I can actually use that don't make my hair itch. I think um, the one and only Argon Oil Curl Cream, that never made my head itch. It's just crazy. Never made my head itch. I think they still sell it at Sally's. Anyways, so um, having to do that every day. And then if I wake up late for work and I can't, um, I'm either putting some ugly hat on my head or just sticking my head in the shower and getting it wet. Because um, sometimes I like to shower at night instead of in the morning because I have more time and I can be more thorough and, and you know put on my lotion, just, you know, um, have a nice self-care moment instead of a rush shower, um, which there can't be a rush shower when I, my hair is loose. So, um, yeah, and it only behaves for one day and then it just starts poofing up and like, that's oh, fine now. It's fine now. Their curls are very happy. They are happy curls. Um, I don't, don't dislike my hair. I just dislike the maintenance. I dislike having to go through um, hair products and like then the hair product doesn't make my head itch so it uh, gets discontinued and it's back to square one. Also I really like the versatility of having locks, um, being able to tie them up in a ponytail, having them get long. Sorry I feel like something's biting me right on my back, it itches. Um, so, yeah, I miss being able to put my hair in styles effortlessly, like taking two sides and putting it back in a nice little um, lock bar. I was going to say barrette, but that's like old school East Coast language. Um, I don't know what this is called. Whatever you put in your hair to, to a hair clip. Um, or like putting one side up and it just cooperates. Whereas here, if I put one side up, that's it. That's what it's going to be. Like, I can't let it down later because it will be straight here. It'll be curly there and it'll stick like that. Um, so I miss that flexibility. Um, it just was great for my self-esteem having those locks. Um, so I really thought about it long and hard. And then when I scheduled the appointment for tomorrow, that was like a month and a half ago. So I had plenty of time to reconsider and decide if I wanted to do it. And I have not wavered, I still wanna do it. So I'm happy to go do it tomorrow. And then I'll send a video showing you guys what it looks like, what the new locks look like. Um, I didn't throw away any of my lock stuff, which is great because I, I still have it all um, so that I don't have to go buy new things. Um, I think that I'm gonna skip the Sister Locks shampoo which might not be a good idea, but it's my hair and I'm going to do what I want. I'm doing 100% what I want this time. I've learned. I understand. I've watched enough videos, had enough personal experience. Um, not using a Sister Lock shampoo, although I believe that the Sister Lock shampoo does help lock your hair. I, 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 I don't have anything bad to say about the product other than it made my scalp so dry that I had so much dandruff and I had to do so much to get rid of it. Um, so that being said, um, I will update you guys again soon. Uh, thank you for watching. I will try to, um, I can't promise that I will make new videos more consistently because um, I don't know if I'm going to. I'm in Texas. I think it's like 95 degrees out here right now. I am baking in the sun, but I felt like the sun uh, makes my complexion look much lighter, um, much better in this lighting. Um, I try to do one in the house and I'm working right now. So I'm just taking a quick break. Um, anyways, okay. I'm rambling. Um, I will show you guys a new, uh, 
a new video once the um, locks are in. And um, wish me luck. I hope that it goes well. And I think that I want, um, can I show you? I'm looking at maybe that. That might be too big. Maybe this. Maybe. Maybe a little more. We'll discuss it when I go over there tomorrow. Because um, I don't want them to be too large. But I want them to be big enough to also just be substantial and feel grounded and rooted. Like some people can get really small locks. And the amount of hair strands they have per inch well not even half inch three fourth inch per square um is a lot and other people it's not a lot like some of my some of my locks had like 10 strands <laughs> and it was it it never felt stable for me and then other ones the larger sister locks they felt more stable um so we'll see where i end up and I will update you. I hope everybody's doing well. Take care. Bye.